Well, a lot of players that I've coached over the years have managed to get the three fundamentals correct. A good appreciation of the balance, the plane and the leverage. But when it comes to putting it all together, the motion simply didn't do the job for them. Instead of a nice smooth acceleration, there was a jerkiness in the swing. And I found it useful to have a couple of thoughts there that will improve the motion of your golf swing to make it more pendulum-like without any rushes. One key area that you can rush is away from the ball to the top of the swing there. You can keep that smooth and then you suddenly jerk down. It's as if everything was going nicely and then the speed changes. So what I recommend is to play a few shots where you swing back, stop and just swing through. You can see that that little pause allows me just to gather my thoughts and then I've got the motion correct as I swing through. So another drill which seems to be the opposite of that one but still works for the motion is to keep the club moving back and through. But you can see it's not really the opposite because there's a pendulum like effect to what I'm doing. On one swing I stop the club to feel the club starting down. Now I'm making a little more of a flowing motion. Back and through, back and through, back and through. And you can see there I'm getting a feel from two two really different looking drills but two drills that will help me appreciate the importance of motion in the golf swing. If you start to tense up, if you start to get tight, you won't perform. One last thought on this. Nowhere is it more important to keep the grip pressure as light as possible than when you're pitching and chipping. It's an easy area for you to tense up and that's a guaranteed failure. So go out on the golf course, use your motion, try to be tension free and you'll start to play some really good chip shots.